In this video, let's see another subtopic of the chapter of continuity and differentiability. The subtopic is named as removable discontinuity. Now we know that when is a function continuous, when is a function discontinuous or not continuous. We saw in the previous videos the graph study also and proper analysis to the same. So let's see what is written over here. It says that if limit fx wherein x tends to a positive that means the right hand limit RHL I can write it like this and I say that limit fx at x tends to a negative that means LHL left hand limit both these things themselves are equal mutually are equal but they are not equal to the third thing that means they are not equal to the value of the function then we said that it was not continuous. In the previous video, we saw three conditions for continuity and we said that all these three have to be necessarily uh, satisfied so as to see that it is continuous. But here what is happening is the first condition is being satisfied. The second condition that yes, function value is existing, but the third is not being satisfied. These both are not equal. The three conditions are not being equal. These are equal. That is not equal. That is why it is discontinuous. But a good news for us all is that this kind of discontinuity can be removed and so this kind of discontinuity is called as removable discontinuity. You can always remove. See what happens. Function is given to me x square minus 9 upon x minus 3. We studied about this function. We said that whenever I put x is equal to 3, there is a blunder. What blunder? The blunder is the f of 3 would come out to be 3 square minus 9 upon 3 minus 3. 3 square is 9. 9 minus 9 upon 3 minus 3 is 0 upon 0 which is the indeterminate form. So there is a problem in it. We cannot go about this thing. But when this thing happens, I say that I can always solve it with the help of limits. When I solve with the help of limits, say limit x tends to 3 and I have the function. What happened? I said that limit x tends to 3, the function is x square minus 9 upon x minus 3. I used to factorize it. This I have done in the previous videos. x plus 3 into x minus 3 upon x minus 3, right? Now x minus 3 both ways used to get cancelled. I used to have limit x plus Sorry, limit x tends to 3 and there was x plus 3. Why these things are important? I basically did these things because I knew that upon factorization, my purpose would be solved. I won't get 0 x plus 3. You used to put 3 negative, 3 positive. For 3 negative, it was 3 minus h and everything. Ultimately, it was what? It was 6, the value that came, 3 plus 3. Now, when 6 is coming, that is coming with the help of limits. That means both LHL and both RHL, they both exist and they both are equal. Only one thing is not existing and not equal. These both are equal. This is giving 0 by 0. The value of the function is not equal. Same condition, LHL, RHL equal, but this third thing is not equal to them. So it is a kind of what kind of discontinuity? Removable. We can always remove. So how to remove? The question is that. You basically split the function. Split the function such that you have one way is the same thing and the other way is what is the expected value? The expected value is 6 in case of limits. So you write 6 here. Where is the problem occurring? The problem is occurring when you put x exactly equal to 3. So you just write my value will be 6 when my value will be 3 and when x is not equal to 3 because I know in case of limits I say tends to but not equal. So this is the limit wala case, limiting case, right? LT I write in short. So when x is not equal to 3 the function will be taken as x square minus 9 upon x minus 3. When x is equal to 3 directly take it as 6. Now what you do is you check the continuity. Left hand limit, right hand limit will give me 6 already upon solving. Right? You solved it here. But what about x being equal to 3? You don't go about this. You say f of 3. f of 3 is what? It is 6. So everywhere you get 6 and then it will become continuous. So this kind of continuity should be studied and it is actually not continuity but 
removable discontinuity.